this as you see it's solving multi step inequalities what is the difference between multi step inequalities and in uh, one step inequalities as you remember x minus 1 greater than 5 only it will take one step to get the solution if i add 1 for both sides minus 1 and plus 1 will be 0 x is greater than 6 so that's then one step inequality when it comes to multi step so let's change it a bit 2x minus 1 greater than 5 so as you see there's a coefficient and constant let's get rid of the constant i need at one both sides so negative 1 and plus 1 will be 0 2x left on the left side of the inequalities and 5 plus 1 is 6 now as you see i haven't find what's the value of x this is 2x greater than 6 you can divide both sides by 2 2 divided by 2 1 so only x is here greater than 3 so it took more steps to calculate the uh, solution so let's draw it 0 1 2 3 4 let's check 3 is empty because I put empty circle there is no equation and the greater than 3 is our solution set so this kind of inequalities we call it multi-step inequalities it's take more step to solve it okay one well, first example as you remember there's a plus constant I need to cancel this constant first 2m so this will be 0 this will be 12 2m greater than 12 2m greater than 12 divided by 2 divided by 2m is greater than 6 of course you need to graph the solution uh, but let's say 5 6 7 8 9 so 6 is not include and m must be greater than 6 so the right side okay that one negative 21 negative 21 here if you take away both side it's not look like multiplication or division the inequal signs will not change 21 minus 21 is will be 0 so 2d less than or equal 31 minus 21 is 10 divided by 2 I'm divide both side by positive so 2 positive 2 so d is less than or equal 5 let's draw a number line 3 2 oh, sorry not 3 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 5 is include this time so as you see 5 less d is less than or equal to 5 5 is equal fill the circle and d is less than so 4 3 the left side is less than 5 so this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 these are all include the uh, solution set that's a solution set infinite of solution for this inequality okay let's solve more examples so this time we get fractions here nothing changed minus 2 over 3 Okay, let me do something here. I want to rewrite the question. Uh, it's a little small. 1 over 4x plus 2 over 3 less than 3 over 4. So negative 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3. 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 will be 0. 1 over 4x less than. So how can we solve 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3? You need to make the denominators equal. So 3 times 3, 9 over 12 minus 8 over 12, it's equal 1 over 12. So the result of this here, the result of 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3 is equal 1 over 12. So I get 1 over 4. If I multiply both sides of inequalities by 4, multiply by 4 here and multiply by 4 here, 4 divided by 4, 1, only x is here, less than 4 and 12, if you simplify by 4, 1 and 3, 1 times 1, 1 over 3. So, 0, 1, 2, so 1 over 3 is nearest here, 1 over 3. And 1 over 3 is not include the solution, empty circle, and less than 0 is less than 1 over 3, so the left side is our solution set. So let's clean that part. Okay, now we have another question. As you see, there's a parenthesis. So first we need to get rid of this parenthesis. I'm going to use distributive property. So I need to multiply 0 0.2. 
returns of inside the parentheses. So 0 0.2 times x0, I forget to choose the black color, I am sorry. 0.2x minus 0.2 times 10 is 2 greater than negative 1.8. So 0, if I add both sides, uh, 2 is greater than, okay. If I add both sides, 2 plus 2, 0.2x, 0.2x greater than minus 1.8 plus 2 0.2 if you divide both sides by 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 x is greater than 1 so i'm not going to draw the graph uh, you can handle i think uh, drawing graph we saw lots of example in on previous video now again there are some parentheses distributive property 5 times 4 20 5 times x plus 5 x less than or equal 3 times 2 6 3 times x plus 3 x so both sides has the x so i'm going to subtract take away this 3 x from both sides of the inequalities so i add negative 3 x 20 plus 5 x minus 3 x is 2 x less than or equal 3 x minus 3 x is will be 0 0 plus 6 is 6 then uh, negative 20, negative 20, 2x, as you see that's 0, I get 2x, less than or 6 minus 12, negative 14, and once last step, divided by 2, divided by 2, x is less than or equal negative 7. Why? When you simplify by 2, this is 1x, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And this is the last example of this uh, section. You can find similar example from your book. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 4y. Is greater than 5 times y is 5y. And 5 times 1 is 5. So here you can uh, positive 5. But 5 times 1 is positive one, uh, 5. Sorry, I forget the thing is a plus. Here there's a 4y and there's a 5y. So if I take away 5y, I will get negative number. I don't want that. So I'm going to take away this lower coefficient. So 4 is less than 5. I'm going to take away this 4y from both sides of the inequality. So negative 12, that will be 0, is greater than 5y minus 4y. It's only 1y plus 5. Minus 5, minus 5, same idea, this will be 0. Negative 17 is greater than y. So if negative 17 is greater than y, I can tell y is less than negative 17. That's the end of the, this video. I hope these videos are going to help you on this to my exam. Thanks for listening.